Well, it's time to swap spit and hit the road. That about puts the rag on the bush. All right, so this is this is our ETU recording for session, I think it's 11. We decided we're going to move on, move back to D&D 5e. And we're going to have a quick wrap-up as to what happens at the end of freshman year here. I'm going to give the... Narrative wrap-up. The, the one-minute narrative wrap-up. And we may come back to it. We may come back to sophomore year, junior, senior year at some point. But I think we're going to hold off for now. I think so, the guys are excited about next edition d and &E, I think. So for you three people out there who have really been into our ETU stuff, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, your phone rings with a frantic call from uh, Jackson. Jackson Green. Professor Glenn Max's assistant. And he says, shut up and listen, I'm in trouble. I found something big, maybe huge, and now I've been followed home. Just in case something happens to me, calls interrupted, you are shotgun blast, and that's all you hear. We dial 911. We call the cops and we send them right to his address. This is why I don't like modern things, because Bob uses modern technology. Why would we not do this? He does, he does this in fantasy, too, and he's always right. <laughs> Guys, we got to call 911. This is not right. <laughs> Uh, what's it? What's a 911? 911. So you race to you, you race to Professor Jackson's house. These are my things. Whether we whether to find the police we there. We call 911 and then we race to his house. Right. Okay. You, 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 you find the police there. There's um, blood splatters. He's not there. Something is broken in. Um, Juan Fay does a no no. My, Joe Diffie does a quick search around, and he finds a quill similar to the one he found from the. Chupacabra down in oh. Mexico. Oh. oh, guys, this looks like the Chupacabra quill we found in Mexico. Uh, in the meantime, Ford is doing his eavesdropping thing for the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ford is eavesdropping on the police, and he hears dispatch to Unit Three. Unit Three, check. Unit Three, we've had another boogeyman sighting on campus. Can you do a wireless check on a witness at the library? Dispatch, we have another 45 minutes here. Oh, then we can head over. Roger that. Dispatch clear. So you guys, so we head over to the being hey, the guys, heroes you are. We, we we head over to the library. I hear somebody that might be in trouble. They they see the the the, the man that he saw. Oh, you mean the the boogeyman? Uh -oh. the, the spike. The, what was his name? The stinger? The slider? The yeah. What was the name the, of that? Yeah, the needler. Guy. The needler. The needler. Right. So so you you race over to the library. Oh, you want, might want to put Mike on mute by the way, if you can. Oh, he's uh, on mute now. Never yeah. mind. Uh, you race over to the library. Where um, Missy Johnson, Jeff's girlfriend, How's she Johnny Moon's girlfriend. Oh, they're still together. What does she want? Um, she's only she's she's a nice girl. Don't be like that. I got a good. So she saw she saw something <laughs> scary out in the, out in, in the woods. Mind, Sim similar, because nice don't forget she was with you in Mexico. So she saw something similar to what you guys described seeing in Mexico the first night when she was there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. she's completely terrified. Um, there's an ROTC the guy there the who was the or the dogs. The quill thing. Okay, it was the dogs, I think. They were spiky. So, um, it's a chupacabra. You guys got coined, got coined, I used that's the term, that's what it is. So, um, guys, I'm learning a lot of Mexican Spanish words now. <laughs> when I was down there, we were in Mexico, and they call those things chupacabra. So, she I was mean, over by the good accent, right? That's that's good. Good. She was over by the horticulture lab. She was trying to take a shortcut back to her dorm because she was tired and it was late. And... Horticulture, right. So... <laughs> Being, once again, the heroes that you are, you race to the horticulture labs. We're searching around. Johnny Moon racing. finds some traces of blood. <gasps> and you, tra you follow back to horticulture lab four, which has been closed. But, uh, Is that like room 1138? Uh, <laughs> I've heard a lot of mushrooms here. I don't understand. Although it's appearing... Like they're very tall leafy plants. <laughs> Although appearing abandoned from the outside, the interior contains a carefully maintained rainforest habitat ideal for the Needler's Lair. Dun, oh, dun, dun. Dun. Guys, you get the impression this place could be sort of the ideal habitat for a lair of some sort of super <laughs> <laughs> Needle Lair. The oh, right. The Needler's Lair would be called the Needle Lair. Amen. That is genius, Johnny Moon. God, he is such a catchy guy. This, this is the other reason I can't stand it to you, because you guys just won't let us do horror. No, we totally don't. <laughs> this is a really, this is the scariest needle layer I've ever been in. It's the only needle layer you've ever been in. Johnny Moore's been in a lot of needle layers. <laughs> He's put his needle in a lot of layers. Anyway. Wait, is that like a heroin den? Just lots of, a layer with a lot of needles everywhere? Yeah, that's it. Right. 
So um, you engage, in, and there's a there's a woman there who's the lower. What's she wear? Um, nothing exciting. Oh, you said nothing, and I got excited. <laughs> it's Roxanne. You engaged in yeah. Oh. You engage in needler and 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 deadly combat, where Edison is killed. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, not really. <laughs> it's probably Guys, I've been killed. Actually, they they, they, they they totally nerfed the needler. They gave him two wounds to start. Oh, oh really? He must be really powerful then. Uh, I'm just, I'm picturing that we fight him and he escapes. <clears throat> no, actually, you you defeat him. Oh, and wow. it's entirely possible Edison would die because his vigor is still miserable. So that it, so the next day. The horticulture lab. Immediately, the, the you find all the human remains. It's a whole mess in there. The woman disappears. Um, she doesn't want your help. She just disappears. Uh, the next day, the horticulture lab burns down. Convenient. All all traces are, are disappearing. Um, and Edison's then, last words are worst police units ever. And then you guys get a picture, um, an old black and white picture, from like the early '60s, maybe. And Johnny Moon immediately recognizes there's like four or five people in it. Johnny Moon immediately recognizes that Nina, the keeper of the cross and to the ghost that he saw, is one of the people in the picture. Mm. So and that's how it ends. That so was, Jackson that was the ghost in the in, in the, yeah, the nest, right? In the roost, oh, yeah. Okay. So the that's step Jackson Jackson Green is gone, missing. Mm-hmm. You have this new clue or whatever you want to call it. And that's how it ends. And was there blood at Jackson Green's apartment? Yes. But you didn't know who was the needlers or his. Right. And Edison, well, we did hear shot died. Edison died in the phone. Yeah, yeah, but back to the important <laughs> stuff. <laughs> when you can have services. I don't Does know my know. work study, is that go through the summer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does right. Edison come back as a ghost? Guys, how are you doing? I didn't go to the So a co- a, a company, the you picture is a note. It says, keep it safe, keep it secret. Oh, that's right, the the cross thingy. No, no, the, the, the note with the picture. Mm. So you get the picture in the mail. Right, yeah. And attached to the note is, is a note that says, keep it safe, keep it secret, implying the picture. What is the picture of? As it's, I stated, it was from the 1950s. Okay, that picture. Yes. I thought it was another picture. No, so no. they're probably a secret society of people much like us from back in the day. Isn't that what she told us about that cross chart? Keep it safe, keep it secret? No. You guys actually left the cross with Glenn Mac. I know, reasons. it was specifically said so we would not do that. And the crystal skull. Glenn Mac crystal got all skull. Oh, he's got all of our loot. Yeah, see. Welcome back. So, so that's how it wraps up. I mean, really, there, there isn't that much adventure in there. Yeah. And then we have to take our finals. It's one fight, and it's a fight with something that's already got two wounds. Yeah, it's chasing around town for a few minutes, and then it's the battle with him. I, so I padded it with another short adventure that's, you know, in the back of the book, but... Yeah. That's, to me, that's why, why I don't like running E2. If you're going to give me material, you need to give me material. It's too... It's almost, they're, they're, the plot points are too short. I need more, more to them. So you prefer to see, for this, uh, this particular campaign, more like a... Um, D and D module, which has like a fully fleshed out. No, I don't. I don't need that, but I need better plot points. Uh. I just need plot points that have more to. I mean, this thing is there's <clears throat> call, location A, location B, done. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> Very good. You know, it's there, and there's only so much you can do to each of those locations. Now, part of it is I I probably need to work harder fleshing it out, but like the Deadlands plot points are much more involved. And that's got a yeah, picture but, but you don't really want to spend that much time flushing it out. <laughs> and I don't blame you. I'm not putting you down. Know. Well, I think, uh, I think ETU had its had its high points. I was hoping for more like Buffy, and maybe that's why we were going for funny over horror, because, you know, Buffy was a pretty funny TV show. It know? get. I mean, eventually it gets there, but you guys you guys have a hard time doing horror because you're too busy having fun. <laughs> the one time we were able to do horror well, we were all sitting here well, in the, the dark. The first time on the couch. The lights were down. And I know... Oh, we really bought it. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. And I know some of us have struggled with our character concepts or haven't been so happy about them. I think maybe Joe Dickey and uh, Ford Prefect are exactly tied to their characters. Oh, I, don't, I think Joe Dickey loved his character. <laughs> Mike, but Mikey just said he got bored to play with them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. That was good. No, no. It, it's, not that I, it's not that I didn't like him. It's that maybe I just didn't know how to play him. Yeah, I think because you were hit and miss with attendance for a while, it made it harder for you. Well, I agree. I agree. 
So, all right, I'm gonna stop the recording. So ends ETU. It was a fun ride. Thank Bye, you. internet. <laughs> one of these days I'll put up issue number one, which still hasn't gone out yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wrapping this up at the 10 minute and 8 second mark. Y'all couldn't ride a nightmare without falling out of bed. Y'all couldn't even ride a blah, 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 blah. One more, one more. Y'all couldn't even ride a nightmare without falling out of bed. Well, it's time to do something. Don't sound like well, man. Just sound like you saying well. Well, it's time to swap spit and hit the road. <laughs>